we're, uh, this is the new corset that Bootsy just got and we're going to swap it to European straight lacing. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm finding the centre of the opposite end, like so. Tie a little knot in there just to mark that it's the opposite end. And it finds me the central point. It's a loose knot. And you take two ends and you go down from top to bottom one side, top to bottom the other side, pull them through, make sure you go underneath the loop otherwise you end up with a higgledy bird's nest of mess, pull through And that's the central point. You can start either side. I'll start with the left because I'm right handed. And you go pull that one out of the way a sec. You go up through the first grommet. Down through the second. Then you repeat it with the other lace. So you go up to the third. And down to the third. Now obviously each course it's going to differ depending on how many grommets are on each side. And again make sure you put the lace underneath the loop um, but on this for example you've got two four six eight ten twelve grommets so you repeat this pattern all the way down until you get to grommet number six and then six and seven on either side of where we're going to put in the bunny ears all right so back to the left Four. Down through grommet four. Down through grommet five, making sure all the time to go under the loop. Like so. There we get to the bunny ears. Now in order to get the bunny ears, which again, as I said, are going to be on grommets at six and seven on both sides, take the left legs. Go up through grommet six, like so, down through grommet seven on the same side. This will eventually, when laced, produce your bunny ears, but for the sake of ease, we'll pull it right through like that, make sure it's sitting fairly flush, and the same on the other side. And what I'll do is I'm going to carry on lacing up this. Uh, course it down to the bottom. Once you get past the body ears you repeat the pattern again. Up through one, down through the same number the other side. Um, but I'm going to stop talking now and I'll fast forward through this bit whilst you're sat there watching my hands go at an amazing rate. And um, saying how does he do that without getting knots in it. Alright, so I shall catch you in a bit.
Okay, so we're down to the last two grommets. Um, there are probably several ways of doing this, but personally, I prefer to take each side across once more. And this time you're going from underneath to over on both sides. Like so. Take the two ends, tie a knot in them. Make sure it's a nice tight knot that they won't come undone, but not so tight that you can't undo it if you need to relace for any reason. And then start pulling back. And you'll notice as you pull each lace, each row up, it will affect the row one step down from it. So, for example, if we needed to bring this knot nearer the centre, we pull the we pull that side, which will bring that knot to the centre. But in order to move it from that side, you go three up on this side, which will pull it centre. So to get it centred exactly, you always step it down. Same goes for the next row up. That one and that one. in the cord which it's doing quite a lot that should should bring us to our bunny ears so this time it's equal both sides thread it through slowly Undo your knot at the top. There you have a straight laced corset.